baseball tryouts are today. Are you going? Yeah, this is going to be fun. How about you, Billy? Are you trying out? Nah, I never get picked. When they choose teams in school, I'm always the last one left. I'm always the other last one left. Aw, oh, come on. We're all trying out. You really think we have a chance? Sure. Let's go sign up for baseball. Let's try out for the team. I could be pitcher. Yeah, and I could catch. First base. Shortstop. Outfield. I'm in now. So let's all go sign up for baseball. We're sure to win. That's our Exactly the Joe athlete type. Don't worry about it. We'll make the team. But what if we don't? Then I guess we'll play baseball at the video arcade. Let's go sign up for baseball. Let's try out for the team. I could be pitcher. And I could catch. First base, shortstop. Outfield, I'm a man. So let's all go sign up for baseball. We're sure to. Bulldogs team. baseball either, huh? Step aside and watch a class act. <laughs> Bulldogs rule! Pardon me, kids, but uh, it doesn't sound like you're having a very good day. That's the understatement of the year, Salty. You didn't make the team, huh? Yeah. No. Those are the Bulldogs? They made the team, right? Yeah. yeah. They made the team. Salty! I guess we just don't do baseball. We don't do windows and we don't do baseball. We're just a bunch of losers. Now just one minute. Right here, 
say, We can have our own team. It'll be fun. You mean yeah. Sure, I'll be the coach. And if we work hard and give it everything we've got, we'll make a fine baseball team. Are you serious? You guys think you can actually be a baseball team? You didn't even make the third string. Why not? We're the Salters, because Salty is our coach. And we are going to be a real baseball team. Right, kid. Okay, since you're all so sure of yourselves, the Bulldogs challenge the Salters to a game two weeks from today. We accept your challenge. Yay! Two weeks from today? Everybody ready for our first practice? Okay. Yay! Yeah, yeah. I'm going to catch a hundred fly balls with my new mitt if I could just figure out how to get it on. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Check out this bat, Salty. Hickory. That'll hit lots of home runs. All right, everybody. Let's pray before we start practice. Pray? Are we that bad? Of course not. Why pray, Salty? I only pray at bedtime or before I eat. Or at church. Jesus cares about everything in our lives. He doesn't just want to hear from us at mealtimes or at bedtime, or even just when we go to church. He wants to hear from us all the time, about everything. Really? Sure. Jesus wants to be part of your everyday life. Put Jesus in your everyday life. Not just Sundays or Wednesdays, but all the in between days. Put Jesus in your everyday life. He wants to be your very best friend. for being with us today and helping us with our practice. Amen. Amen. Now we're ready. All right. Here's the positions you're going to play today. Linda Sue, you be catcher. Aaron, pitcher. First base, Wally. Second base, Mary Lou. Third, Johnny. Salty, can I play fourth base? Well, no, because it's not called fourth base. It's called home plate. 
and that's where the catcher stands, and we already have one of those. But I think you'd be perfect for a shortstop. And when I get big, can I be the tall stop? Well, no, because please, Hannah, shortstop is what it's called. It has nothing to do with how tall you are. Oh, okay. There's no good positions left, Salty. Where are we gonna play? On the bench. Now hold on a minute, kids. We still have to fill up the outfield, and those positions are just as important as the infield. Otherwise, who'd catch all the fly balls? I will. I will. Okay. Right field, Freddie. Center field, Alice. And left field, David. Billy, you're first up at bat. Me? Yeah. Now plant your feet right here on the ground. Hold the bat firmly with your right hand on the top. And keep your hands together. And when the ball crosses the plate, swing. Okay, Aaron, throw us a pitch. Strike one. That's okay, Billy. Try it again. Strike two. <sighs> You'll get it. Try it one more time. Now keep your eye on the ball. Strike three. I'm no good at this. I'm gonna quit. Whoa! Don't quit before you've started. We're practicing so we can get good. You can't expect to hit home runs the first time up at bat. It takes hard work, stick to itiveness. That's where it's really at. And even if you strike out, don't give up, don't resign. Cause practice makes perfect. So practice rain or shine. Come on, everybody. Listen up, everybody. You've worked hard for the last two weeks. You've put in quite a few hours practicing, and I've seen a lot of improvement. I'm really proud of you. You're a great coach, Salty. Yeah! Thanks, kids. I appreciate that. But you know, you've got a coach who's with you all the time, even when I'm not. He's pulling for you and helping you to be strong and make good choices in your lives. Who's that? The Lord. Maybe we should pray then, Salty. You bet. Dear God, thank you for the improvement we've made in such a short time. Please help us to play our best. We give this game to you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, Salters, the Bulldogs are ready, and so are you. Go out, do your best, and be tough. Go, Go Salters! Just then we're confident. 
them any slack. Okay. I know how you feel. You're disappointed and hurt. But the score at the end of the game is not the most important thing here. Each one of you is precious and valuable to God, no matter what the score is. You've tried hard, and you gave it your all, and I'm still proud of you for that. You didn't win the game, but you did win a victory. the Lord, you're a winner, even when you lose. Cause the standard's not a score, but the fact you choose to do right, to serve God, and to give your all. Even when you fall, He forgives. And you win Life is full of disappointments It's a hard knock game First you're up, then you're down But there is no shame So forge on, set your sights And you'll reach your goal He's your strength He's your life, carry on. You're a winner, you're a winner. By His choice, when you choose, you just win, you don't lose. So stand tall, stand tall. With when you lose 
Cause the standard's not a score But the fact you choose To do right, to serve God And to give your all Even when you fall, He forgives and you win Of course I will. Salty, do you think they'd play us again? Yeah, we want another chance. Yeah! Why don't you ask them? Hey, Bulldogs! Yeah? Would you, would you play us one more game? Are you serious? Yeah, we want to try one more time. Okay, kid, it's your call. Two weeks from today. Same time, same place. You're on. Oh, no! What am I gonna do? The big rematch between the Salters and the Bulldogs is in 15 minutes, and I can't get my salty supersonic schooner scooter to start. Oh, I'm gonna miss the game! Where's Salty? I don't know. He should have been here an hour ago. The game's about to start. We can't play without our coach. I can't believe I invested a whole two weeks of my life in practice and the coach isn't going to show. Remember what Salty said about the Lord being our coach? Yeah, he said God is always with us, no matter what. Then we better pray, because we really need it now. Oh Lord, we need you. Please hear our cry, we pray. Oh Lord, we need you. Without you, we're nothing at all. Oh Lord, we need you. Please answer us when. Please hear our cry, we pray. 
Salty supersonic schooner scooter wouldn't start, so I had to run all the way. But I got here just in time to see Billy steal home plate and make the winning run. Yay! When you weren't here, we remembered what you said about God being our coach, and we prayed. And we ran. It was a miracle. Bulldogs. That was a great game, kid. I'm sorry that I razzed you guys so much. I feel kind of embarrassed about it now. I guess I was just trying to act tough. That's okay. That's okay, Bobby. God even loves guys who act tough. How about if you Salters join our league? We play every Saturday. I can't believe it. They actually want us in their league. Will you? Yeah! Sure we will. Wow, look at what God has done for you. From kids who thought they were losers to kids who know that whether you win or lose, with the Lord you're always a champion. Our God is awesome. Praise the Lord. 